Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And while I was waiting for one of my other videos to load, I just did about the graph paper tool. I started thinking this would be a very good tool for making a tile, like a mural, where you can't get, it's too big for your laser bed. As you can see, we want it this big, and so I'm going to go ahead and make my clip, my clipboard bigger. And you can see it wouldn't fit on your laser bed if this is your laser bed. But there's a way to, we'll make it just a little bit smaller. Anyway, so I just created a table or a graph paper. And the graph paper is under your polygon tool. And you can make the graph paper however big or long you want it. Tell it how many squares you want. If you want a more or less, you need to do that before you draw it. So I've added four now. But we're going to stay with that. And then once you get what size tile you want, we're going to make this thing... Let's say we want the tile 10 by, well, that wouldn't work. We need 60 by 30. That would make our tile, um, because I've got six, no, I only have five, so that'd be 50. So that gives me a five by five inch tile, and if they wouldn't fit all in the laser bed. So let's just use the one I've already done right here. And what is neat about the graph paper tool, it is actually a group of 15 objects, but they're all together. So then you can take your clip art or whatever it is and go to arrange power clip, place inside frame, and then place your clip art inside the frame. And you can adjust that and move around like any power clip. And let's go to edit power clip and you could actually move him a little bit more to the back and then click on that when you're done. But what is cool about this, now we can take our graph paper tool and go to arrange and convert it to curves and then go to arrange and ungroup it. And now you could do these individual tile of the horse in your laser. So you, could, you can't get but two on there. You might be able to get three on there, but this way you could do a humongous project. And there's actually a way to, uh, you know, these are hairline that's going to cut out. And there's actually a way to, uh, I've never really done one, but you could actually uh, have some merge where it actually go over the edge a little bit so they'll look neater. But this would be a cool project. And you could probably get, on this laser bed, you could probably get four pieces on there. But you can see how you could engrave and cut out pieces of wood and then put them together into a really big mural. I mean, this thing is would be huge. Let me just put everything back and it's, you know, it's 66 inches long. And nobody around that I've ever known has a laser that big. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.